Alrighty. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Lynn Simpson, my friend. How are you? Looking forward to seeing you at the end of the month. Can't wait to see you, in fact. Well, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning here in Adelaide. The sun's come out now and the rain stopped. So, fingers crossed, we're in for a nice day. Um, I've got a little... A, little, a nice little day plan for you with a couple of lives using our fantastic products. Hello, Emma. Hello, Maggie. Uh, we are part of the Picture to Page Crafts online show. And today and tomorrow, I'm going to be rewarding my customers. I'm rewarding you guys with some fantastic specials. So we have got 15% off distress products, so that's your distress inks, your distress oxides uh, and sprays and refills, re-inkers. We've got 15% off of Natalie May scrapbooking products. So they're the products that I'm going to be using in the live today. Um, you've got 15% off Vicky Booten. So we've got some fabulous collections by Vicky Booten. So we'll be having, uh, they're all available on special. 15% off paper collections, paper rose products, and 30% off of Scrap Effects products. So you can find all of these things over at nataliemay.com.au for today and tomorrow. So I will be doing some live Facebooks. So you will see me in here again today at three o'clock. Um, possibly this evening, I might pop over to our creative community tonight um, and do another one. And hopefully I will do something tomorrow as well. I haven't made a plan yet. But we're just going to wait and see. So earlier today, we did a, I did a live over at Picture to Page on their Facebook page showing you how to create this little guy here. Oh, I'm just going to change. Do I need to change my lighting? No, we're okay. Um, so yes, we're going to, I, I did this little project and I just finished it off on camera. Just, uh, well, doing the stenciling on camera. Off camera, I added the doodling. But this is one of our DIY journal covers, um, a DIY journal, sorry. And I thought for the rest of the lives over the next day or so, I'm going to build the pages to go in here. So here is another one that I've made in another uh, live Facebook earlier. So this is using some very old paper from my collection. And these are rub-ons from Simple Stories. The inside, uh, we've just covered with pattern paper. And the idea of these stencils, sorry, these, I'm looking at my stencils off on the side here and saying it. Um, the idea of these DIY journals is you get the pages included, but you can build on this. So you can add your own pages. The super talented Jackie, who is one of our brand ambassadors, she used one of these to create a, um, a journal to hold her what do you call it? Her artist trading cards. So that's really awesome. Uh, so you can use these little things for anything at all that you like. Um, here is my very first original one. And this is one that I taught at our retreat. Uh, this one has started creating some pages in it. And to give you a bit of an idea. So I might continue working in this journal on these pages. So I'm going to create a page, actually I'll just, I'll do it here, take this one out. So as you can see, the elastic binds them together, really, really easy to use. You can cover the front of your journals and the back as well, and they all bind however you want them to bind. You could use um, your journals, you could take them together and join them all together with anything. So I will link some different techniques in the group so you can see uh, as well in our page uh, so different ways of binding that journal together uh, I used our spotty tape our paper 
paper tape to put it together. You can use double-sided tape. You can use any way at all, really. It's completely up to you. All right, let's do some work here. Let's create a little mini art journal page. I want to use the, so this is the page that fits beautifully into that journal. And today I thought I would use some collage papers, but use some collage papers from some of my older collections. Some that you've all forgotten about perhaps. So this is Claris. Claris is, uh, Claris is my grandmother actually, uh, and she passed away a few years ago. So this is Claris. This one is Miriam. Miriam is named after one of my favorite customers. Uh, and so you've got a black and white and a color. This is Molly. Molly is named after another family member. This is Betty. Betty is also another grandmother of mine who has now passed. Olive, also a family member. So you can see they've all got a connection. Uh, we have Tanner and Kez here. So Tanner and Karen, my two girls. And we've got Alison and Sharon. So these ones will all work. Um, I think, I feel the need to use Miriam. I haven't, I haven't used these in a while. So these are the collage papers. So I'm going to use, I'm going to be a little bit lazy. Should I use the coloured one? I'll use the coloured one. And I'm just going to cut her out nice and flush to the, to the edge here. So normally I would do a bit of a paper tear, but this time I, I want to add, I just want to stick the image straight on. I'm just going to separate this from here. I find it much easier just to loosely cut the paper and then go back over and fussy cut. Welcome to everybody who has joined. Today I have got a couple of live Facebooks. Uh, I just thought I would say a little thank you to you guys and give you some little free mini classes as part of the picture to page weekend. I hope that you are all having a ball, taking advantage of some of our fabulous specials that we've got running this weekend. So while I'm cutting this out, let's pop this back under your noses. So we have got 15% off of Distress products. So your Tim Holtz inks and your Tim Holtz sprays and reinkers are 15% off. We have got Vicky Bouchon products. So her latest collection, which is where to next. We have got some beautiful Christmas things in with hers as well. Uh, Vicky Bouchon products. Uh, we have got, so they're 15% off. Scrap Effects products are 30% off. So as they are being run out of stock, as they have closed down. We also have Paper Rose products at 15% off. Pattern Papers, 15% off. And Natalie May scrapbooking products, which is what we're going to be using today, are also 15% off, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, I'm just going to cut that across there. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Now, postage is not free. Postage is $11.95 within Australia. But if you want to do another order tomorrow or you want to add to your order, then of course you can choose the no judgment postage. Um, so there you go. All right, let's get some color on the background here. Um, I'm just gonna pop a piece of paper towel under here because I feel a little bit of messy coming on and I don't want too much bleed through. Uh, so I know that she's gonna sit about there on my page. So I'm just going to grab a lead pencil and lightly mark an approximate area. I don't want too much colour underneath her face especially and her hair, but I do want a little bit of a guide on where I'm going to stick her, okay? So that I know that this area here, I don't want to put any dark colours. Uh, let's have a look. So I've still got these lovely paper artsy paints here in front of me. And as you can see, I'm using one of our custom designed and made paint stands. So you can find these over on our website as well. We have got, um, so they hold 
Dina Wakeley paints, they hold Dilusions paints, they also hold these Paper Artsy paints. Um, this colour is ochre, the translucent. Um, and they are perfect for standing up on your desk and they also fit really nicely in the Rascog trolleys that you buy from Ikea, which hold all your stamps and your, you know, your little craft trolleys, so they fit beautifully in that. All right, so I'm just using a paintbrush to, in vertical strokes, get some colour on to my, on my background. And I'm being a little bit patchy because uh, I'm going to layer up some colour. I don't want this to take forever. It doesn't need to. I know what... I know that I need to do this quickly and just, you know, create something that's pretty and effective. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated every single time. I like the idea of building these little pages up. All right, so I'm taking that into there. And I've also got some toffee apple. So these colours from Paper Artsy are translucent colours. So they're lovely and light. They are not solid, solid colours. And as you can see, I haven't washed my brush yet because I'm staying with colours that are all alongside each other on the colour wheel and they are not going to muddy up when they are wet. Now, uh, here comes my usual Facebook sneeze. Just... Chat amongst yourselves for a second. No, it's gone. We've got a bit of a windy day here in Adelaide today, which has stirred up my sinuses. Um, okay, so I'm just lightly feathering these paints on top of each other, and I will be going back and adding some more layers in a moment and a little bit of light stenciling, but you can see what's happening. They're quite, it's quite light and layering up quite nicely, pushing up to that pencil line. Like that. So this afternoon, we are going to be announcing our second fantastic guest teacher that we have coming up. So stay tuned for that little announcement. And then I have another amazing announcement tomorrow. And I will be back online here at 3 o'clock this afternoon, Adelaide time, for another live Facebook where I'll do another, li another little page for this little journal too. All right, so you can see that I'm just layering up these colours quite nicely, keeping my strokes vertical, not saturating the project, just layering up the paints. And we're getting a really nice finish. So where the line is here, see how I've got that bit of a crappy sort of line there? What I want to do is I'm going to pop some more paint on and I'm going to make a new colour to try and disperse that line because I really don't want that sort of finish up there. It's getting better. I will pop some stenciling over the top. That will solve that problem. The paint dried a little bit quicker and I was talking. But normally we'll do... A little bit of that. So these colours are going to look really quite nice. They're going to make that pop on there. Fantastic. So instead of going for colours that I would normally do, which is a contrasting colour, I've decided to pull the colours out of here and use those. So I highly recommend using, um, investing in some paper artsy paints. They are really, really lovely for this sort of style of project. Okay. Just going to give that a moment to dry and I'm going to then add some stenciling to my background. Um, just chat amongst yourselves for a moment because I did that lovely little, I kind of did a little sneaky sneeze. I now need to go and blow my nose. So, uh, And when I did a little test film this morning, we discovered that's not a great thing to hear on camera. Chat amongst yourselves. So 
sorry about that. Nobody needs to hear someone blowing their nose or sniffing on camera. It is just the worst. Okay, and I'm back. And that has pretty much dried. So there you go, perfect. Right, let's crack out. I've still got my sponge left over from this morning. I'm just gonna cut off that pink bit of paint. And let's choose a stencil. So as you know, uh, Natalie May scrapbooking stencils are also on special. So let's have a bit of a flick through some of the stencils that we have on hand. I used this one in the last video, so I'm not gonna use that one again. My absolute favorite, which is the Organic Circles, is gonna be a bit too big, so I'm gonna stick away from that one. Um, I've got the Scattered Numbers, doesn't really call for numbers. I've got my Arty Alphas. Look at the state of these stencils. They are super not very clean. I do love this grid stencil. I might put that shortlist that guy. Uh, this is the squared stencil. Uh, I used that one in the last video, so I'm not going to use that again. Hexagons are nice, maybe. I do like my lumps. Let's use, let's use those two today. This page won't require a whole lot of stenciling, which is fantastic. I really do want to keep it really, really simple. And I'm actually going to stencil up with similar sort of colours. I'm going to go in here with Bougainvillea, which is a semi-opaque, which is exactly that. It's not a totally, totally, um, oh, actually, no, maybe, maybe. I'm going to go in with toffee apple. Um, so the semi-opaque means that it is not going to be a solid paint. All right, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go in with toffee apple. So putting it on my sponge and then pulling it off to the side, just and then just popping a little bit around the edges, focusing on that. Now you don't see very much of it. You just kind of see enough. And because we're using the same sort of colours over the top, it blends in quite nicely. Just like that. So just dabbing it on and I'm just embracing that pattern. Okay, I'm going to bring it up to camera just to show you. You can see that stenciling there. So with the My Lumps, this is going to be more of my feature image, right? Because it's quite a bold image. Let's use the dirty side here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Same sponge because I'm still in that same colour family and pulling that paint off to the side. And I'm going to be a bit more gentle. So this is a little bit purpley and let's see if it's worked. So holding my stencil into place, I can just peel it back and go, yeah, that looks fine. Doesn't show up very well on camera, but I will bring it up in a moment to show you. I'm not after a super solid stencil. It's not necessary to go super solid. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And I'll pop some more down the bottom here. So if you jump online today and tomorrow to nataliemay.com.au, you can get 15% off a range of products and 30% off of scrap effects, which is cool. All right, that's enough of that for me. So these guys, uh, you've got these now on special as well. So um, jump online to Natalie May and have a bit of a look. I'm not going to wipe that up. I'm going to add a little bit of stamping to my background here. I don't have too many stamps handy, so let's use my Won't Let You Down stamp set. Good old faithful. Some black archival ink. I'm making sure my words are up the right way because that's a thing. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of layered stamping across the top up there. And a little bit down here. 
and you can see that I'm doing this this off stamping so that means that it's not going to be super dark and then it's looking a little layered which is the exact feeling I'm going for here all right see that layered stamping at the top there that's what we're after let's see how she's going here so art journal pa oh, totally missed a bit art journal pages don't need to be complicated they just need to give you the opportunity to, to opportunity to create to take a moment to do something for yourself okay they don't need to be this award-winning thing it needs to be about creating for you and I think that's something that we possibly forget um all right so how about a few little leaves since I've got my leaves here my hand-drawn leaves what I don't have is an acrylic block Now, you may or may not have noticed this week uh, at Natalie May Scrapbooking, we released some new acrylic blocks. So we have added some acrylic blocks to our catalogue now of the two most popular sizes uh, that we find that people ask for. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So um, they have a, a, a great low price point of $7.95 and $8.95. So there's going to be something there to suit everyone. So a little bit of leafage across the bottom there. And while that ink is drying, so I've used a black archival ink because it's got that great permanency to it. But because a black archival ink is an oil-based ink, I just want to heat set it before I go any further so that it doesn't smudge. And then I'm going to stick her head down. I'm going to stick Miriam down with some gel medium. Oh, I think I am going to. I'm going to wipe this up. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to stick something in it, and it's going to go bad. There we go. Okie dokie. So let's use some gel medium to stick down our Miriam head. So as normal as we would normally do of course using gel medium to stick down we need to put it on like we're contacting those school books all right we need to put it on piece by piece by piece or inch by inch just so that it, we have no bubbles so putting it on a little bit at a time so I've got an about an, an inch down the bottom here just to pop it into place Because if you put all your gel medium straight onto your collage paper, what happens is you find it a little bit floppy and too hard to move around and manoeuvre around. Uh, so putting it on like this pops it into position, make sure all your edges are stuck down and then a little bit at a time, you can go in here and put it over top. So I'm going back over with my paintbrush and I'm following that really light little line that I drew and because I haven't put any paint underneath what happens with the collage paper is that it is white, it's, it becomes almost transparent so you want to make sure that you have got a white background underneath or something light just on the off chance that it might come through. So because I'm wanting to keep Miriam's skin pale, making sure that there's no paint underneath is quite important or it will show through. So making sure that we've got every little area covered and then pushing that gel medium over the top to seal it because we want to make sure that it's sealed because if I decide that I wanted to paint over the top of this with watercolors or Lindy's Magicals 
or something like that. I need to ensure that there's no... Oh, I haven't stuffed that bit down. That there's, I haven't made sure that it's all, I have to make sure it's all completely sealed or it's going to soak right in. So I now have everything on covered here. I'm now just going to use my finger and I'm going to polish it. So polishing it to take off any excess gel medium, push out any bubbles and take off any brush strokes that I have left on my page. Hello, Linda. Hello, Emma. Emma's just asked a question. Nat, do you use your catalyst for gel medium and adhering girls and faces? I certainly do. Um, I have recently found, I, I go between my catalyst tool, for those playing along at home, this is a catalyst tool. Um, yes, I can do exactly the same thing with a catalyst tool. Uh, recently, I've just been using my paintbrushes more on my more delicate images. Um, but depending on what I'm sticking down, if I'm sticking down a bigger area, then I tend to reach for my my catalyst tool. I'm just wiping off any excess gel medium around the edges there. So yes, I do use both, Emma, if that answers your question. Um, look at that. She's all stuck down. So now I'm, what, 25 minutes in. I've created a painty background with some stenciling and some stamping and stuck down my girl here, my Miriam. So just giving that a moment to dry. I'm going to pull that heat gun out again. So I do like creating on this size little journal because it's really, really fun to, to create small and compact. Uh, imagine like creating like this and, you know, actually using up some of the things that you have at home. Oh, I know, right? Um, but you can start to, you know, create, you know, express yourself with some colour, get it out onto some paper and have a good, good play here. Right. My cutting of Miriam is a bit ordinary. I've got some white edges here that aren't showing up very well on camera. Oh, you can see up there where I've got some white. So what I want to do is I've taken my Stabilo pencil uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of an outline. So I get, a, get the question a lot, what is a Stabilo pencil? A Stabilo pencil is a water-soluble pencil. But it, it writes on everything. So it writes on paper, glass, plastic and metal. It even says it right here on the pencil. So let me show you how awesome a Stabilo pencil can be. So just on my book here, if I draw a, if I write, I can write the word hello. I'm pushing down, I'm giving it a little bit of pressure, not too much. Now I've got a paintbrush and I can water activate that. So what happens with a Stabilo pencil is that it, when you water activate it, it stays black. So you get a lot of different sort of pencils on the market that when you water activate them like this, they don't stay black. They actually kind of go blue or brown. Uh, what have I got here? Let me have a bit of a play. This one, oh, this one's a, a waterproof. And this feels more waxy. Okay, so if I just use a clean paintbrush, see, that's not smudging at all. Uh, if I use a China marker, use the right side of the paintbrush, same thing again. You can see a wet paintbrush doesn't react to it, so there's no smudge. Uh, what else have I got here? I've got charcoal, maybe. Oh no, this is a Derwent Ink Tense. So 
Similar sort of product, all right? I do love ink tents, and this is another water-soluble pencil. But with this one, it it's kind of, and I don't know if it's showing up on camera. I'll bring it up to camera in a minute. See how it's gone brown? Whereas if I do it with the same thing, with a Stabilo pencil, it stayed black. And it's totally dissolved differently. So there's lots of different things that you can use on the market. This is something that Dina Wakely introduced me to all of those years ago when I did a class with her. So this is why um, I've always stopped the Stabilo pencil. Something else you can do with the Stabilo pencil on your messy mat in the background, like that. Just do a little circle, get some water, make a puddle, and then you can add some splatters to your project if you don't have any black paint handy. You can colour in with it, you can do all sorts. You can also smudge with it as well. So very, very cool. But it, it and you can write on plastic, you can write on glass, you can write on just about any surface using this little guy. Okay, I do like a sharp one though. So I'm gonna get my pencil sharpener out again. My favorite pencil sharpener, which is from Officeworks. Okay, so my page is dry, all right? So what I wanna do now is I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a shadow, a little line, a little sketch. I do about an inch at a time and I can soften it with my finger, which is all I'm gonna to do today. I could, if I, I don't really wanna smudge it out with water, softening it with my finger is enough. I'm gonna do a little zoom up to show you. Whoosh. There we go. So I'll do this again. Am I in the camera? Let's have a look here. I don't do too much at a time because I don't want the pencil to set. So just softening it with my finger with a little smudge. The detail is and the finishing is generally what makes it all work together. So you will find Stabilo pencils in our pens and pencils section on our website. So you, can you see how that's just smudging down and it just creates a little shadow, but just working on a little area at a time and not rushing it. The minute you rush it is where it all goes pear-shaped. There is a reason why this pencil is so damn good. Naomi's just commented saying she uses her black Stabilo on almost every page. Yeah, look, you don't need to, to water soluble every single time. It does smudge quite nicely, not too much, just enough to soften. And the other thing is, is if you don't like it, you can just wipe it off because it hasn't set yet. All right, so now she's got a little bit more of a shadow behind her. Sorry, I forgot I was seamed up then. Let's just zoop, zoop that out a bit. There we go. Uh, and I will now go through and just create a little bit of a, a black border with my pencil. There's no reason I can't do that. I could also do it with a black pen, but today, since I've got that lovely little pencil in my hand. 
And I'm also one of these people, as you can tell, I turn my page rather than move my hand all over the page. I find it works better. There you go. So a couple of little tips there with your Stabilo pencil. Add one to your next order on nataliemay.com.au. You will definitely benefit from having one in your stash. And also when you do a class with our, um, and usually if you do an online class with nataliemay.com.au or one of our fantastic guest designers that we announcing another one today, they quite often use them and have them as a standard thing in their kit. All right, the last thing I want to do is I want to add a phrase. So I want to add some sort of wording to finish off my page. Uh, I think that that's a really important part of an art journal page. A couple of things I could do. I can stamp some words on here. I could use some collage paper. Last week, two weeks ago, actually, beginning of the month, last month, oh my gosh, where's time gone? I released some new collage papers and we have got the <laughs> unfiltered thoughts. Um, my thumb is over the sweariest words on here um, and some sweary collage papers. Uh, so you can quite easily come up with something here and stick onto your page. Um, I'm not going to use those today. Oh, and by the way, guys, these are 15% off. Love that for you. Uh, you could also use one of the phrases on here, but I'm feeling the need to hand write something today. And I'm going to hand write something. Always test your pen on a piece of scrap paper first because I picked up a pen that didn't want to work then. I'm doing some just some pause music for you while I'm looking for my favourite black pen at the moment. And I'm just going to test my Black Life of Colour pen in the Fungus Diseases, fungus diseases book. So I need to give it a really good shake first. Oh, Lynn's asking the question, what is my favourite black pen? It's like asking who your favourite child is, Lynn, and we know who your favourite child is because he's my favourite child of yours. Um, I have got like a million black pens. Uh, at the moment, I go between whichever one works. Perfectly honestly. Um, ooh. I've got a food ball pen here. Oh, hey, that one's a nice one. So this is the food ball pen. I think we have those on our online store. I have paint pens. I have them all. I just, I just like them all. And I'm just going to write something. Do I want to write? Oh, I see. Now I'm second guessing myself. Do I want to write in black or white? Kasha, come and have a look. Maybe I need to white pen. Oh, it's a white pen mm -hmm. situation. It's definitely. I just had to get you out of your chair. Sorry. Right. The white pen situation is as follows. Right, let's get all the white pens out. That's not white. Right. And again, before you start, always test. Shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. And then I activate and get them working. And that's not going to show up on that, is it? Amateur hour here. I've got a pin tour to try. Whoops. That's it. Okay, actually, that's not too shabby. Excuse me. All right. I've got a gel pen as well. So I'm just going to jump right in here with my Pintor Fine Pen. 
and right Oh, I know. I'm going to use both pens. Was it this one that worked a minute ago? So I get really ind indecisive when it comes to this. Right, sorry, for some reason I couldn't chalk at the same time as do that. So now I'm using a wider pen just to make my key words pop. And there you go. So some of you may have noticed, yesterday we announced on nataliemay.com.au that we have a fabulous guest teacher uh, doing an online class with us on the 2nd of September. So the lovely Claire, otherwise known as Art Journal Love, on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Claire designs for Funky Fossil. And also, oh, I love that. And has designed for scrap effects over the years, etc. Now, Claire is the most incredibly talented, awesome lady, and Claire is going to be doing some online classes with us. The first one starts in September, so we are absolutely thrilled to have her on board. We are just in the process of finalising the kit for her class, and then we will be posting it out. Um, as you can see here, I'm just making some splatters, so I'm just bleeding out my, my white pen. And then with a fine paintbrush, I'm going to do that. Whoa, smoker's tap. Um, that's annoying. So, yes, jump online to do that. So the idea of doing that class is that we will send you out a little kit, but you will also have lifetime access to that class, which is fantastic for you. So that means that you can go back and watch it whenever you like. You can... Just like all of the classes for Natalie May scrapbooking, you can watch it and they are on a private Facebook group. All right, I love that and I'm going to stop because I don't want to mess it up. So there you go. So thank you very much. What we have done today is created a simple background in our page for our junk journal, our DIY handmade journal. I have painted using paper artsy paints. Come here. Painted using paper artsy paints on our heavy duty cardstock. We have used a couple of stencils in the background. The paints that I used, by the way, are toffee apple, ochre, and firebird. Stunning colours. I also added a little bit of bougainvillea just for mixing it up. Now we painted on our background, we used the Miri, no we didn't, yes we did, we used Miriam collage paper, so she comes with a black and a white, and I used the colour one to keep it nice and simple. Added some stamping in the background using the Natalie May scrapbooking stamp, so these are my hand drawn leaves, and the won't let you down. And then we finished off with a little Stabilo pencil, and a white pen on here just to keep it simple. All right, you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. I think there's something in this for all of us. Don't you hate that at the end of the movie? <laughs> anyway, that's enough, that's enough from me. So if you jump online today to nataliemay.com.au, as part of the Picture to Page online craft show, I will be doing live Facebooks 
Uh, today and tomorrow, I am going to have Sunday off because uh, I haven't had a day off in 10 days, so I do need to take one off. We are going to have 15% off Distress products, 15% off Natalie May products such as collage, paper, stamps and stencils, Vicky Bouton products you will find at 15% off, pattern paper and paper rose are also on special with 30% off the scrap effects. So thanks guys and I look forward to seeing you back here at 3 o'clock to have a little bit more of a play and do another page in our journal. Chat soon!